What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, I'm back onto the ranked double ladder with a team used by my boy TNT to win our most recent viewer tournament over on my Twitch page. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on this YouTube channel. If you guys want to join our viewer tournaments, we do them every single week over on my Twitch page, every single Thursday. So hit that follow button, turn on notification. The winner of the tournaments, I showcase our team on the YouTube channel, just like TNT because he is our most recent winner. But rocking out on this team, we got ourselves a G Max Pikachu right here, right in the top left corner, holding that light ball and that lightning rod with Grass Knot, Surf, Thunderbolt, and Fake Out. You guys already know what G Max Pikachu does, hits the opposing opponents and they both get paralyzed. So that is huge and you control speed a lot with this team. You got ourselves our Tailwind user with Whimsicott, with Tailwind, Fake Tears, Taunt, and Moonblast, normal little Whimsicott set up there. We got big power, huge power over here, digger speed, this thing hits like a truck with its life orb with its normal moveset as well, it's big coverage with protect, thunder punch, ice punch, and EQ for big old stab damage, we got ourselves Draco Fish, big speedy Draco Fish with mystic water, he's not choice banded this time, so water moves will do a little bit more damage, but we can actually use different moves instead of just choosing into one, as strong jaw as, as its ability, second fangs actually break some screens, crunch, and fish's friend, we got moxie gyarados, moxie gyarados rocks out, I love Moxie Gyarados. So strong with Power Whip, Bounce for Stab, Waterfall for Stab. But I really like having Bounce on it because you can dodge Dynamax moves just like that. And then you got that Moxie when you pick up Kill. You boost your attack with that Lumberry as well as its item. And then in the final spot, we got Weakness Policy Togekiss. I love this moveset on these Togekisses. I don't know why. It's just awesome. It covers so much. You can do some mean damage, especially because this one is super luck. We can get some lucky crits. And we have Weakness Policy if we proc it, we're going to be able to go out there, have a bunch of different coverage moves, and dominate the battle. It has Follow Me, Heat Wave, Dazzle Gleam, and Air Slash. Guys, you want to use this team for yourself? Rental Code is at the bottom screen. I'm very hyped to use it. TNT absolutely ran the tournament, went undefeated, won the whole thing, and was like, Jeans, here you go, showcase this team. So, that is what we're going to do. But, without further ado, let's hop onto the rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has a Grassy Surge Roll Boom team with Charizard, Musharna, Hydreigon, Gyarados, and Rhyperior. I think he can run Trick Room. That's why he has that Rhyperior, so we might have to watch out for that. But I think Moxie Gyarados can absolutely do some work here. He has that Water Move for the Charizard. He has the Air Move for that Rillaboom. We can roll out strong. We have Grass for the... Uh, grass or Water, whichever one we want. Probably Water for the Rhyperior. He can be very, very strong. So I'm thinking of just leading that uh, Whimsicott, going into Gyarados, and just going from there. And just going from there. So I think that's a I think that's a smart lead, because he might lead uh, Grassy, Grassy Rillaboom. Um, I think I'm going to bring Tokus in the back, and then in the final spot, go Draco Fish. Draco Fish and leave Diggers being Pikachu out of here. Tell them to get on, kids. But yo, let's get it. Let's run it. But guys, like I said in the beginning of the videos, come check out my Twitch page. We stream four plus days every single week. Link in the description below. Come hang out, chat up. If you have questions, feel free to ask me there. But going into this first battle, I'm really liking how this team looks. Like, in general, just looking at it, because this is my first time playing it. But it looks like you can dynamax so many different things. The Pikachu, the Gyarados, the uh, Togekiss, or the Digger Speed. Like, it, it just works out so well. But he goes uh, Mashana and uh, Charizard. And Charizard, what you want, Charizard? And then I could just uh, Tailwind? Or do I want to Fake Tears? I'm thinking of not Dynamaxing right here. I'm thinking of just Fake Tearing. Actually, Fake Tear won't do anything. That's special. That's special. Hold up, jeans. Let's go back. We're not going to Fake Tear. Uh... I could taunt. Can I taunt this thing? What type? What typing is this thing? What typing is this thing? Let me, give me a second. Give me just a second. Okay, so I'm gonna taunt it. I'm gonna see like what what is up with this thing. I'm just gonna taunt it, and then I am going to Dynamax, and I'm just gonna send the guys over over onto the Charizard. Let's get it, baby. Let's get rolling early on here. He's gonna Dynamax as well. Maybe I should have Tailwind, but I think Taunt is the play just in case he's going for a trick room. But why would he go for a trick room? That's the real question. That is the real question. I am wondering what this thing's going to do. This thing is kind of scary. Does this thing learn fake out? No way it learns fake out. Not a chance. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Ally switch maybe? Could be an ally switch bomb. Which if it goes ally switch then, then we're sitting a little tough because then we'll taunt the Charizard which is probably already attacking considering. Well then it can't guard which is nice. And I could just uh, tailwind and roll geyser. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. We got Moxie Gyarados coming here. If I can just boost it one forward. Oh my lord, and then just uh, get the tail went up. We'll take speed and attack. We do get the taunt off. Come here, little boy. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do, little boy? He fell for the taunt. He's going to go for an airstream over onto the... Uh, over onto the Whimsicoot. Whimsicoot is going to sash. Hopefully this uh, 
this little mine isn't attacking and we can survive and set up a tailwind that'll be pretty nice let's see what happens here he's gonna boost the speed and what's going on there and what's going on there's no, i don't even know what this thing's going to do we do go before it here goes the geyser you gonna do some nice big old stab damage to it the drought isn't here so maybe ko mm, so close man so close do i have anybody with first turn priority i do not but the rain is going to help us Going to help us huge, and he cannot yawn after taunt, which is beautiful. Um, do I tailwind or do I moon blast? No, we're gonna, we're gonna have tailwind here. We're gonna go for tailwind. I'm gonna predict the guard, and, and I'm just gonna go over here. I'm gonna predict the guard and slide over to Masharna here, because he knows we gotta be setting up tailwind. You know we gotta be setting up tailwind, and then going after your Charizard. So if he guards, we could potentially pick up the KO and then roll out on the Charizard later. Come on, show me your guard. What you want, fool? I know you're scared. I know you're scared. We make the right calls. Oh, he's gonna withdraw. Ooh, ooh. Nico's gonna go. He's gonna go Rhyperior. Okay, Rhyperior is potentially dead here. I'll take that all day. Tailwind comes out. Give me that, and then we'll get the Moxie boost as well. Don't mind if I do. Next guys are gonna come in here. Oh, and this thing has a berry. This thing has a water berry. Can we still pick up the KO? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Let's see, let's see. Bill, get out of here. Get out of here. Yes, sir. Moxie boost coming in. And this thing, what is this thing going to actually do? This one, a Pasha Berry. You never see those things. You never see a Pasha Berry. We get the Moxie boost, which is wonderful. I wonder what the Charger's going for. Probably another Max Airstream. Yo, he's going to go for a Wildfire. Take out the... Oh. Okay. I'm cool with it. So we still have speed advantage. Um, I, I'll just throw a Moonblast over onto the... Oh, uh, now we can't. But So we have Tailwind, so we should be fine. I think I just get Draco Fish out here and we start running it. We start running battle number one. Because we got the speed all day, right? We got the speed all day. Or I can just go here. I think I'd rather... Hmm. No, I'd rather go Togekiss. I'd rather just go Togekiss and save Draco Fish for the back end. Togi, wogi, wogi, bogey. Togekiss should have a nice little speed here. Mushana should come back out. I'm going to throw Geyser over on that thing. And then I'm just going to... uh probably just go for Dazzling Beam. Ah, uh, no. Air Slash this thing. We're going to Air Slash up on the Charizard. And then we're just going to roll out with a Max Geyser. Wow, we're lagging a little bit. You see that? There it goes. Went, just went back in the wall. But, dude, I knew Charizard was going to be such a strong lead here. Such a strong lead. We're plus one. We're in the rain. Stab. Like, this is going to KO this thing. Let's say bye-bye to Mishana. Yo, see you later. Give me that next Moxie boost. Give it up. Give it up. This is GG. Yo, I just saw it from the beginning. I was just like, Mr. Kai into Gyarados? We can be able to roll out here. It does so much work. Overgrowth is going to come out here. Over on my Tokus or my Gyarados? My Gyarados will eat that up. That's, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. That's tasty, baby. That's a tasty little snack. And Charizard's going to go down here. And then I believe he just cancels battle. I believe he's just going to cancel out the battle. Bro, it's too easy. It is too easy for jeans, baby. <laughs> yeah, TNT. This team is rocking out. I'm loving it so far. I always love box characters. I don't know. Because once you get that first kill, the next one comes easier and easier and easier and easier. And you just roll out and you start steamrolling your competition. Especially if you have Tailwind set up. Just take speed advantage and then you have the attack boost and then there's just nobody stopping you. There's no one stopping you. Okay, let's see what he does. He goes in the Rillaboom. Oh, that's easy KO. It's easy KO, baby. What you want? And just bounce an air slash. But I think he seriously is going to uh, quit. I think he is going to quit. We're just going to go into an air slash, get that stab damage, and then just roll into a bounce just in case he doesn't quit. He can pop up in the air and finish him off later. Oh, he protects. He protects, man. Yeah, we're coming in with that bounce anyway. That's GG. Like, why are you... Like, that's my question. Why are you protecting? Like, what do you think it's going to do for you? You know this match is over. You know it's over. <laughs> and Slash gets blocked. You're not beating us, man. You're not doing it. Gyarados takes out wildfire damage. So will Tokus. And Bounce is going to come in here and just uh, say GG. Once I hit A on this Air Slash. My Gyarados should be the fastest on the field. Battle was canceled. There it is. Why didn't you just cancel it the last one? But yeah, 1 0 with this team. Let's hop into battle number two and try to get a win streak rolling. Hopping into battle number two, this guy has a trick room team, like half and half. You can go trick room side or you can stay with the speed side with that drag bolt. He has lightning rod Raichu, so I gotta watch out for that. That's making me not want to bring the Pikachu, but at the same time, like I really want to bring that Pikachu. Hmm. I definitely gotta go Wimscott because we can take speed control with the Tailwind or we can taunt the trick room user. Then he could go into a fake out. He could do all that stuff. Um, is my will Pikachu outspeed a Raichu? That's the real question. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's the real question. No, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go. No, no, I'm not gonna go for it. I'm gonna go Dracofish. And I think I bring out uh, Diggersby. I think Diggersby comes in big. 
And then in the final spot, we get Tokus. Yeah, let's run it. Let's run it. Let's get Diggersby some loving over here. Pull out Draco Fish. We we had Draco Fish in that last battle, but he just chilled in the back end because Gyarados was in the in the spotlight, just dominating that battle. But let's get it. That's what I want to do. I don't think Pikachu is going going to be faster than Raichu. I don't think he is. It's 156. I think I think Raichu is a little bit above that. That speed. Let's see. He goes Primarina and Dusclops, so that works out fine for us. We can taunt this uh, Dusclops, and I can roll into a uh, a Fishes Rend on it. I can double up. I can hit that double up. And then once the what's called goes down, the Draco Fish probably to the Moonblast or something along the lines. Should be fine. But I'm going to taunt. And then we just go into uh, hit that uh, the crunch. But I feel like Fish's Rent's going to do stab with the Mystic Water. And double damage. Yeah, you have to stop. That's, uh, Fish's Rent's going to do way more. Way more. He's going to Dynamax the Primarina right off the bat. He's going to take out my uh, Draco Fish. That's, uh, that's 100%, I think. I think he's gonna take out my Dragon Fish here. Yeah, it's an easy call. He goes to a Max Starfall, takes that out, and then I could, um. Hmm. Am I gonna Dynamax Toke? Because uh, I'm trying to think, because Dickerspeed won't be able to handle this Primarina too well. I do have Max Lightning, which uh, could be, which could be pretty good. But I'm thinking Toke Kiss with the, uh, with the Fake Tears. Wimscott could work out very, very strong. This Shrine comes in here. How much damage are we going to do? I don't think he takes out Dust Cops. Oh my god, it does. Oh, we got a crit. We got a crit, baby. It's easy. It's that easy. We didn't even need to taunt. We could have just set up a Tailwind, but we should be fine. Starfall's going to come through. And I think I Dynamax Togekiss here. I think I Dynamax Togekiss, and I might just want to go for a... What's it called? I might not even want to go for a Tailwind. I might just want to Fake Tier and Max Airstream. That might be the call. We can get the speed with the uh, Airstream and not even waste a turn with a Tailwind. Really depends who he throws out. But I'm gonna go Tokus. I'm gonna save big big dog for the bat. Even though this doubles our attack stat. That is huge. Who do I want to go into? You know what? I'm going into Diggersby, dude. I'm gonna get Diggersby rolling up in here. Let's show him off. Even though Tokus might have been the better call. I really want to show off Diggersby. Oh my lord, I hate this game so much, man! <laughs> he brings out lightning rod right you. Dang, dude. I gotta set up Tailwind now. And do I go for an EQ? I gotta go for an EQ. That's so whack. That is so whack. I knew I should have brought out the tokens. Should have went with my gut, dude. We could have been rolling there. We could have been rolling. But this thing's gonna go for a fake out. Oh, he's gonna fake out Diggersby. Okay, you can take out Diggersby. That's no problem for me. I'd rather you take out Diggersby than my Wimscott right now. Let's see what happens here. Flinch just can't move, and guys are gonna come through. Yeah, guys are gonna come through and take that thing out. Luckily, we did not Dynamax. That could have been. That could have been bad. It could have been real, real bad. All right, that's fine. All right, so no, no more fake outs. He gets a rain. Like Tokus gonna come in here and uh, start, start doing some work. Start doing some work. And this fight you can trigger weakness possibly, which would be huge. Could be huge. Was that Primarina's last turn? Let me think. Let me think. No, it took out Trick Fish and took out that. Okay. So we gotta go for the airstream. I mean, no, we really do not have to, but I think I'd rather start taking speed advantage. I'm going to fake tears on the. Actually, the Primarina could uh, guard. But I highly doubt it is going to. I'm going to Dynamax and just drop an airstream. Actually, which one can do more? Which one is going to do more? We got 130 and 130. Okay, so it really depends what I want to do. I'd rather go for the airstream because this thing does have a... Uh, it does have a... Uh, the fairy moves. It does have the fairy moves. All right, let's get rolling here. We got speed advantage. Primarina uh, could potentially go down here. We could get super luck boosted. I hope this thing actually uh, takes off our weakness policy or triggers it. And we can eat up fine and just, just get rolling from there. It's just like, did we take out one of his Monjet? Yeah, we took out the Dust Cops. I mean, I think once we get the Supreme Arena out here, we can have Dynamax advantage. Potentially just roll out this match. Fake tears come through. Yeet, yeah, baby. Minus two, baby. Minus two. This is what I should have went into, uh, first of all. First and foremost, we should have just went straight into this. We could have had Diggersby in the back end. Let's see. Mm, not, not enough damage, but still, we, we do a decent amount. I think Wimscott can take out with a Moonblast next turn. Just finish that thing off and I can go after that Raichu. We get the speed advantage. What's going on here now? Nuzzle's coming out. Thank you for that weakness policy, little buddy. Even though you uh, paralyze us. That's totally fine. I'm feeling feeling lucky. I don't think we're going to get get uh, paralyzed too, too much. Maybe once. Maybe once. This thing's going to go for a, for a geyser. You got to come in for my tokens, right? Yeah, I'll come in for my togi bogey, right? Yeah. Oh, that was a heaping amount. Oh. Oh. All right. So, I think we're fine. Primarina should go down to this Moonblast, and I feel like we could take out this Raichu, right? I feel like we're still pretty fast, and I, we might want to boost our speed once again. 
Let's go here. And let's go. Let's go. Let's go airstream booster speed. Oh, we cannot. Let's go starfall. Yeah, starfall. Onto the Raichu. Let's get it, baby. And yeah, Wimscott should definitely be able to take out this Primarina. Let's see. It's minus two. Moonblast. Like, come on. Get out of here. This thing's not Dynamax anymore. You see you later, Primarina. Get out of here, girl. Get out of here. Alright, alright. So now we go into the Starfall. Is this thing sashed? It might be sashed. Usually Raichus are sashed. Hopefully not. Mmm, it is. Okay, whack. Thing hangs on with a sash. I think it's gonna go into like a, a T bolt. Yep, T bolt. Can we eat? Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh yes, yes! I love you, Tokus. That might have just won us the match. That right there might have just won us the match. We got one more turn in Dynamax, so uh as long as we don't get paralyzed, we should be cooking. Him. And Sparrow Throne, we have Flare. Do we think Flare is still going to take out? I think Flare is still going to uh, give him the Boppos. I'm going to go here. I think might protect. Let's go here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got rolling here. Yeah, I think the, definitely the Fire Throne's got to protect. But I can definitely change up the weather and then hit a Heat Wave later. If I would have just sent out Tokus before that Digger's Beat, we would have been sitting perfectly, perfectly fine. I would have had a Digger's Beat in the back end. Like, nothing would have changed. Let's see what's happening here. Moonblast comes in. Raichu's gone. All right. I think if we land this, it's game over. Even in the rain. I think it's because it's four times super effective. We're plus two on special attack board. Tokus is paralyzed. Oh, bruh. Bruh. Bruh, the paralyzed coming back to haunt us. No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right. Uh, best play would probably be to just uh, keep baked here in this thing. Or should I taunt it? Can't win Peter's out. We got the speed advantage, obviously. Um, I mean, he's steel typing though. The gyro ball is just gonna whap on us. Yeah, I, I just gotta keep fake tearing it, you know? I think I gotta fake tear and keep rolling from there. Let's see what he does. We get the fake tear. He's gonna go for the iron defense. I should have just taunted this thing. That's totally fine. Go for iron defenses. We're special attacking. Oh my lord, go ahead. Do that. Do that as much as you want. Please, sir. Go ahead. Do it as much as you want. I just need to keep fake tiering so these not very effective uh, moon blasts can do some work. Another fake tier. This thing's minus four. It really depends what he does this play. He's going to determine what I do. Is he going to go for another iron defense? He goes straight for a body press. How much damage is that thing doing? We can eat up one more. So I got to start sending moon blasts now. I got to start sending moon blasts now. Iron defense was more so for his body press, but still. But still, come on, baby. Come on, Whimsy. This thing's minus four. Whimsy, come in clutch. If we had Digger Speed, it's over. If we had Digger Speed, it's over. Moonblast comes in. How much damage are you doing? Not bad. We need a crit or something. Go for an Iron Defense. Go for an Iron Defense. And we get that special attack drop. And goes for another body press. We need a crit here. We need a crit here. We need a crit. Or we need a single miss. That's the only way we win. Come on, baby. Pokey gods, give me that crit. Give me that crit. <laughs> Come on, what you want? He's gonna going to protect you up a little bit. Oh, you smart little cookie. Smart little cookie. Don't get that leftovers. We need a crit. I don't even know if a crit will take out. I actually think a crit will, but still. We need it. Come on, Wim's got. Oh, we need to sing the miss a body press somehow. Moonblast, you crit it. Nope. Miss! Stop it! No! <laughs> Yo, GG. I lost that one. I totally lost that one. If we would have just went into Toe Kiss, like my gut said, I was just like, yo, Toe Kiss is our best option. Then I went and sec guessed myself, went Diggers Beat, and lost this match. But yo, GG to that guy. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a Sun slash Trick Room team right here. I think Gyarados rocks out once again. I really do feel like Gyarados rocks out here. He has the Lumberry, so I'm going to lead uh, Whimscott for the Taunt for the Trick Room. Gyarados as well, because Gyarados can counter the Venusaur if he wants to go Sun Venusaur and try to put Gyarados to sleep. We Lumberry, we Max Airstream, we take Speed Advantage, and we start rolling from there. Um, who else am I going to bring here? I don't think we're going to showcase Pikachu in today's video. Not too sure. We're going to bring Diggersby, of course. And then do I go Fish? I mean, Fish in the Heat, a mm, little tough. I think uh, what's called can maybe be decent? No, I got to bring Fish, right? I gotta bring fish. It's either fish or Togi Wogi. I mean, Togi is just an all-around beast. Or I could say Pikachu for back end. Hmm. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? I think we're just gonna go Togi. Even though Draco fish is Draco fish, bro. 
Bro, what do I do? I mean, what does Tokus really do? Except the Venusaur, which we got that covered, kind of. But I just don't want everything to get caught up in the heat. So we're going to go to Tokus here. We have Follow Me as well. What I meant by everything getting caught up in the heat is, uh, like, if we bring too many water Pokemon and he just has a drought, we're not going to be able to do as much damage as we should. This drought uh, neglects some of that water damage. But third and final battle here, I think we're sitting fine. I think Gyarados is such a big part of this team. I really want to show off the Pikachu, but I didn't get no chances to really show it off. I mean, we should have won that last battle. I made the worst call. It goes Duskops right here. Mm. Is he ally switching? Is he going to ally switch? I think I taunt that thing, and then I, uh... Do I set rain? How should I roll here? You know, this is our focus session on Lumberry. You gotta protect the right here, right? I'm gonna go for a taunt. I'm a Dynamax. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rolling right off the bat. Either way, I should be able to set up a, uh... I'm, I gotta, I gotta put pressure on the right here. I gotta put pressure on the right here, because cause if this thing drops a big old rock, then we're done. We're done. Drops a big old rock on me, then we're done. So I'm gonna Dynamax. I do not think this thing is going to Dynamax. I think he's going to protect and try to get Trick Room up, and then we just taunt, and then we should just be able to roll strong from there. Let's see. We can get Moxie boosted. Let's see what happens here. He Dynamax, and he is. He's, oh, man. It's going to be tough, because I think he can eat up a Max Geyser and just drop a rock on me and pretty much finish up the game. That's some rough news. That's some rough news. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Let's see what you do, big dog. Because he's big, bulky, defensive mon. I really do think he can eat up. I guess I should have led the fish and just get rolling from there. We do go for the taunt, so no trick room for you. Come in, little boy. And then we should be able to go first. Drop this geyser. I think we're going to bring him down to yellow. Maybe a little low yellow. Let's see. Yep, low yellow. Low yellow, and oh my lord, oh my lord. Did we trigger policy? We might trigger policy. This could be this could be a little a little rough for us, but maybe not rough for us at the same time. At the same time, it might not be rough for us. He's going to drop a rock, yeah. Okay, so Gyarados. See you later, buddy. Gyarados is gone. All right, so Gyarados goes down there. That's fine. That's fine. Match isn't over yet because uh, we still have speed advantage. And if we can keep it that way, uh, this game's pretty much over. But let's see what happens here. I could go into uh, Diggersby. Or should I save Diggersby? It really depends on what I want to do. I think it's my uh, guard. Can I trick room after taunt, which is lovely. We do not have our sash anymore. Um... Hmm. Do I go fishy? I, I didn't bring the Draco fish. Dang it! <laughs> I'm gonna go digger speed here. I can definitely throw a heavy ice punch. It's huge power. Take out right here. And then just roll from there. I just gotta keep uh, my eye on the taunt turns. Hopefully this thing's not rocking Will O Wisp. Oh, we cannot go with Will O Wisp, so it's, that's nice. Ice punch or EQ? I think ice punch. And I'll finish off this right here. We're gonna roll out here. Finish off right here. He might max guard. Either way, we lost your characters right there. Man! I should say, he's gonna withdraw you. That is totally fine with me. He's gonna send out Primarina, so Primarina's gonna take a nice little moon blast. And I can uh, thunder that if I can get this uh what's called out the way. If I get this right here out the way, because this thing might be lightning rod. I'm not too sure. We can get this thing out the way with a nice little thunder. Oh, now we get the crit. We need that last match, buddy. Oh, when we get the special attack drop, you love to see it, baby. Ice punch comes through. KO. Yes, sir. Right here, down for the count. Let's go. Alright, that's why, like I said, I was just like, if our Gyarados goes out, it's not really over just yet, because we still have a speed advantage. We still have a speed advantage all day. Um, I'm going to set up Tailwind right now, because I don't have Tailwind up yet. Or do I? No, I taunt it, and then I move by it. Okay. Yeah, so I can set up Tailwind now. I can go into a uh, Thunder. What do I have? Thunder Punch? I'm going through a Thunder Punch. Take that out. He's going to get going. Um, That's a little tough for us. I still think Diggersby outspeed, so I might just go for an EQ. I'm gonna go for yeah, I'm gonna go for a tailwind EQ. Cause I need to take out the I need to do work on this uh this Torkoal. I really do need to do work on this Torkoal, because if he hits an eruption, that's a potential double kill for him. Especially at full health. So I can't just go after straight for that Primarina right now. We have, to, we have to take a little curveball here. I think this EQ could potentially KO it. Right? Stab. Get it out of here. Get out of my face. Double kill! Oh my god, put Primarina on one. On one, we do take out the Torkoal, though. That was a huge step. But, yo, put Primarina on one? What you mean? What do you mean? He's going to go for a Hyper Voice. This is liquefied. Uh, Digger Speed eats up. Fine. That is lovely. I think that special attack drop was huge. Special attack drop was huge. But, yo, dude. Digger Speed, come on, man. 
And now it just comes down to a 2v1. We kind of got this one wrapped up fairly well. Going to a Moon Blast. Um, he reveals our Life Orb. Gonna go into a Moon Blast over on the Clops. Actually, no, no, no. We can do more damage with the Clops with our uh, Deer Speed. Um, do I go for Thunder Punch, Ice Punch? We can leave him with Paralyze. We can leave him with Freeze. Um, bu -bu 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 what do I want to go for? We're gonna go for that Ice Punch. Even though I want to go for the EQ, but so I really don't want to hurt my Wimscott that much. Let's go, Moon Blast, KO Primarina, and this match is looking good. It's looking like we got that winning record. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Hey, jeans, 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 jeans. <laughs> Big old Ice Punch. Give me a Freeze. That, I don't know if it's a thing, but you shouldn't be able to freeze if, there, if there's a drown out. I mean, that should be a thing. Um, Scott goes down. Psh, that's totally fine. We bring in super luck weakness policy person right here, Togi Wogi. And I can roll EQs for free now. For free without doing no damage to my ally mods because Tokus has that flying. We get that big old stab damage going. And then I think I just roll air slash, potentially get a flinch. And we have the, uh, the stab because we are flying as well. But yo, EQ, baby. Come on. Yo, you, you Digger Speed rocks out. He's so strong. He's so strong, especially with his ability, huge power, which doubles his attack stat. It's just game over with that. And the life orb as well. Air Slash, can Air Slash pick up the KO? Jeans does it again! Yeah! The crowd goes wild. One last congratulations to my boy TNT for winning the tournament and sending in this team. I absolutely love this team. This team has so much to do with it. We got the G-Max Pikachu. You got that Moxie Gatos. Diggers B, as always, hits like a truck. And you got that big old Super Luck Weakness Policy Toad Kiss. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.